In today's video, I will teach you how to create a website buttons in GIMP. Let's get started. First, open GIMP and create a new image with dimensions of 120 by 30 pixels. Then set the background to black. Now, create a new transparent layer and select the entire canvas by going to Select, then All, or simply press Ctrl A. Now go to Select, then Shrink. Then shrink the selection by 3 pixels. Now, apply a rounded rectangle to the selection Choose your desired foreground and background colors. Then select the gradient tool and draw a gradient from top to bottom so that the brighter color is at the top. While the selection is still active, create a new layer and fill it with white. Now go to select, then shrink, and then shrink the selection by one pixel. Then delete the selection so that a 1 pixel white border remains. Now deselect by going to Select, then None. In the Layers dialog, set the layer mode to Soft Light. Then adjust the opacity to 60%. Now we're going to add a button text. To do this, select the text tool from the toolbox, then type your desired text on the button, then set the text color to white. Now move the text lightly to the right, then apply a new empty layer, and use the Paths tool to create a path for a highlight effect on the button. Now complete the path by holding the Control key and clicking the starting point. Now press Enter to convert the path to a selection, then fill the selection with a color that is lighter than your background. Now deselect by going to Select, then None. Now duplicate this layer. Then move the duplicate slightly to the right to enhance the highlight effect. Now activate the colored gradient tool, then right-click in the layers dialog and choose selection from alpha. Then shrink the selection by going to select, then shrink, then set the value to 1 pixel. Then add a new layer above it. Now go to the toolbox and select the gradient tool. Now choose Color to Transparent from the drop-down menu. Now draw a gradient from the top of the button downward. Now hold the Control key to ensure a horizontal gradient. You can also test different colors. To test different colors, create a new empty layer above all others, then fill this layer with your desired test color. Then set the layer mode to color, and this will instantly change the button's color without redoing the entire process. And you can also experiment with different gradients to see how they affect the button's appearance. And there you have it. You've created a stylish, glossy button that can be easily customized for your website. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, Turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.